After a long day, isn't it nice to hop into a warm, relaxing bath? You can soak up some suds and spend an hour or so in there. Now, what about spending 167 hours more? What would happen to your skin? How wrinkled would your body get? And how long is too long for a bath? This is what if. And here's what would happen if you didn't leave your bathtub for a week. While resting in the water, your hands and feet start to become wrinkly compared to the rest of your body. We used to think that the skin and hands and feet absorbed water and that's what made them wrinkle, but research has shown that vasoconstriction, a narrowing of the blood vessels in our fingers and toes, is the real cause. It takes about five minutes for skin to start wrinkling. But how much more intense would those wrinkles become if you stayed in the water for a week? Could they become dangerous? Okay, before we get to those scary scenarios, you can rest easy for a bit. Enjoy yourself. After all, this is a bath, and that's kind of the point. For the first couple of hours, you can bring your rubber ducky and play in this nice warm water. Yeah, you'll notice wrinkles starting to form, but there's nothing to worry about. Yet. Although they might look a little strange and gross, they actually might be helpful. According to a handful of studies from 2011 to 2013, these wrinkles might actually be giving us a better grip in the water. So if you happen to lose your soap in the bathtub, the wrinkles might be able to help you. Okay, now it's coming up on 24 hours out of your 168 hour experience and you're getting a little bored. Your rubber ducky has deflated, your laptop's dead and you're starting to feel some pain you'll start to notice bubbles forming on your skin. These are known as vesicles. In this case, they're caused by the water in the tub getting trapped between your outer and middle layers of skin. These bubbles will continue to form the longer you're in the bath, creating bubble-filled skin all along your body. And as that happens, you're starting to get hungry. Well, it's unlikely you'll have access to servants while you're in this bath, so your best bet for getting fed would be with a tube filled with all the nutrients you'd need. But then, you know what comes next. You'd inevitably have to go to the washroom. You'd either have to do it in the bathtub, which would cause a number of disgusting consequences no one wants to know about, or you could have a tube that disposes of all this. So yeah, let's go with that. But as you've been thinking of all these crazy ways to cope with your bodily functions, you've been ignoring those bubbles forming on your skin. As time has gone on, they've been slowly festering and growing bigger. This will keep happening until a couple of days into your bath marathon when they begin to burst. Okay, so now your skin is starting to peel away and if you haven't been disposing of your waste, you'll be in a pool full of fecal matter with open sores all over your body. Yes, this is the perfect way for you to get infections all over your skin. Glad you asked. Now, if this isn't enough to worry about, a couple of days into your bath, you'll start developing bath sores. These are similar to bed sores, which happen when you lay in bed for far too long. Since there's not much space to move around in your bath, it could also tear your new skin bubbles, creating even more sores. As you're stuck in this bath, most likely in incredible pain, you'll realize that these sores have been distracting you from something else that's happening. The water has been getting colder the whole time. If you haven't been adding in any more hot water and you don't have any way to sustain the temperature, your bath could get dangerously cold. If your bath temperature gets down between 21 and 26 degrees, then spending just a couple of hours in the tub could make you pass out. Luckily, it can't kill you as the temperatures just aren't low enough, but if it goes any lower, you could end up dead. Sounds like unless you're heavily monitored with proper nutrition, consistent fresh water, and some way to go to the bathroom, this will end very badly. Now, even if you did manage to survive the stress of all this, you'd come out a very different person. I mean, with your skin ripped all along your body and most likely infected, 
it's unlikely you'd survive what would come shortly after you did get out of the bath. Something you'd have a better chance of surviving is if you fell into a pool of spent nuclear fuel rods. Yeah, really. But we'll leave that story for another What If.